Space Pictures. Today, we're in Space Engine and we're gonna look at space pictures, real ones, from the Hubble Space Telescope and try to recreate them in Space Engine and get them as close as possible. We're gonna go through a few different galaxies and nebulas and we're gonna look at some planets too. So let's get right into it. Okay, so this picture right here is M51 or the Whirlpool Galaxy. This is a real picture of it taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. So we're gonna try to recreate that picture the best that we can. So let's search for the Whirlpool Galaxy galaxy and just see what comes up okay so this might not even be that hard if you just go like this so actually i think it might be more realistic if we take it from earth because hubble is on earth so we might get more of the correct lighting and stars and stuff okay so if we go so here's earth where's my atmosphere boom so let's pretend we're the hubble telescope like in orbit boom okay we're orbiting the earth and then we search for the whirlpool galaxy get it and then zoom in all the way on it like we are in oh yeah that's gonna work good like we're in the like we are the hubble telescope okay so there's another galaxy there i'm not sure which one that is for the purposes of our picture let's line it up like this and then we want our exposure up a little bit that already looks awesome okay and oh a little bit darker adjusting some of the settings on here okay and boom okay so here's my final picture of the Whirlpool Galaxy that I took in Space Engine versus the real one. But the thing is with these galaxies is Space Engine actually uses the real image on it. Um, so it's, it is gonna look exactly like the image. But with some of our planets and nebulas, it generates 3D models. Like this technically is a 3D model. We could go in it. This is the Whirlpool Galaxy. So that is still pretty cool. But now we're going to do the Eagle Nebula, which has the Pillars of Creation. All right, so here is the Eagle Nebula. And you can see right in the middle there, the Pillars of Creation, if you zoomed in on it. This is a very, very famous nebula. So let's go back to Earth, because that's where that's where the Hubble is. Before we go take a picture of it, let's just go look at what a 3D model of it is going to look like in Space Engine. Okay, well, that is a little bit disappointing if that's it, if that's what we're looking at. Where's, I don't even know where I'm supposed to look at it from. Oh, there's, I see the pillars, I think. In there, I think those are the pillars right here. Okay, so let's go back to Earth so we can get like the right angle. Because the view from Earth is gonna be different than the view from anywhere else. Okay, so Earth's super bright because of our exposure. There we go. And now let's search for the Eagle Nebula. Okay, so if you're on Earth and you just look up in the night sky and see the Milky Way, you can see there's a nebula. And if you do have a telescope, you can maybe see a little bit of the Eagle Nebula. Okay, so this is what it looks like from Earth on Space Engine. I wonder why we can't see a ton. This is max exposure. So I think this model is not super good. I think you can get mods to try to get better models for some of our known nebulae. Um, and then we have a nebula down here too. So there's the Pillars of Creation in the middle. So. Uh, the way they're lined up in the picture, they're kind of facing like this for the pillars of creation. Okay, so we're going to do this is our picture. Let's line it up. This does not look nearly as good as it does in the real picture from the Hubble, which is kind of disappointing that Space Engine wouldn't be able to get a better model for this front part. Um, but let's see. Now we're going to try Saturn so we can see how well Saturn translates in Space Engine. Okay, so here is a picture of Saturn from the Hubble Space Telescope. So let's find Saturn. Let's go to Saturn first and look at it. So the view f right next to Saturn is going to be a little different than the view from far away. But already, like, look at that. That looks almost identical. If you went like this, turned on a better lighting, turned up the exposure a little bit. Uh, maybe down... Go a little further away and then zoom in. Boom. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That looks just like it. Okay, wait. We need to do it from Earth though because that's where all of these are taken from. We're not going to be able to be standing right next to Saturn and take the picture. So let's see if we can make it look that good from Earth still. Okay, so we're floating right above Earth, which is where the Hubble is. And Saturn's going to be that dot there. Okay, so if we zoom in on Saturn. Still, look at that. Space Engine's really good with planets. Line it up, check that out. So it might vary a little bit uh, based on like the time of year of Earth and Saturn. So to get this exact picture, you'd have to go to the exact date that it was taken in Space Engine. Check that out. So here is my final picture, the one I took in Space Engine compared to the real picture of from the Hubble. 
Okay, okay, I remember this one actually working pretty well in Space Engine. This is a picture of the Ring Nebula, which is a really famous nebula also. So let's go to it first. Here's a first glance at the Ring Nebula. So it looks like we have even more colors in Space Engine than we see in the actual picture. So you can start to see that like halo effect around it that you actually do see in the picture. Um, for this picture, it's sort of slanted like this. Uh, what, what do we see if we turn up the exposure a ton? So we see that a lot of that redness, but then the, the middle part. So it's actually like spherical if you look at that. I wonder if they actually know if it's that shape or they just like guessed that. But let's go back to Earth and let's get our comparison picture. Okay, so we're on Earth and the Ring Nebula, if we follow the arrow, is going to be... Oh, that's the moon. Beautiful. Okay, we're, good to, we're doing the moon next. Don't even worry. Boom. It's right there. Zoom in, zoom in. There's another galaxy there. Okay, so this is what you see if you zoom in. We need more exposure. That is pretty close. I do think that this model's better than the one they had for the Eagle Nebula, but I do think um, they could do some more work to try to get it to look more like the picture. But this is going to be my picture of the Ring Nebula. Let's take it. Okay, so final picture of the Ring Nebula in Space Engine versus the real picture of it. Okay, let's do a picture of the moon because I think that that is one of the best objects in Space Engine. Just because we do know so much about it that you can get pictures in Space Engine that look absolutely realistic. Oh my gosh, look at that shot that we can get. This is like one of my favorite objects to go fly around and look at just because the detail is so insane. Okay, so we're also going to do the Andromeda Galaxy, which is the brightest galaxy that we can see from Earth. Andromeda. So here is a space engine model of the Andromeda Galaxy. Uh, looks not too hard to get a good picture of. This one might be harder than the than the Whirlpool Galaxy because this it doesn't look like they used this exact picture for it. If you look at this picture. So let's go to Earth and see if we can get anything close to that. Okay, so here's Earth. If we go right above the land, we don't want to be on the land. Above. So we're still in orbit now. And then search Andromeda. Okay, so this little dot there. Oh, you can already kind of see it. So it looks like there's a lot of stars in that picture. So how do I get a lot of stars to show up but not have the galaxy be so bright? Oh, here we go. Look, galaxies turn it down in brightness. How come that makes it disappear? Turn the stars up. Oh, okay, okay. I see. So get the galaxy in the right brightness, probably about there. That actually looks pretty close. So the colors aren't going to be the same. But, oh, look, you can even see how in the picture there's a smaller galaxy at the bottom. And we can see that right here. And I don't see this one, though. Um, but... How do we get the zoom right? Yeah, you can see the blue stars even line up because we're standing on Earth doing this. So some of the stars, you can see like this red one and there should be a smaller red one next to it. Yeah, those stars line up. That's actually really cool to see. So that's proved that how realistic Space Engine can be um, with celestial object placement. Okay, so we're going to take our picture probably like this. So I know the colors aren't the same, but also they kind of alter the colors to make it look as cool as possible in some of the Hubble pictures. Um, but that is a picture of the Andromeda Galaxy in Space Engine. And then here's the real one again. Okay, finally, we're going to do the Orion Nebula, which is one of the most famous nebulas that you can see from Earth. So here's what it kind of is going to look like in Space Engine. Oh, I have the stars so bright. You, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Um, this one does look a little better than some of the other ones, I think, in Space Engine. So here's a real picture of it. And then we're going to go to Earth so we can get the right angle again. And then we will zoom in on it and see how that looks. So here's Earth. We'll go right above the surface. Right there. Okay, so you can already start to see it. So this is actually in the constellation of Orion. Let's turn some of these... Let's turn the stars back down because they're just so bright. Okay, so yeah, you can start to see the constellation Orion. We have this star, this star, this star, this star. They make a box. And then in the middle of those boxes, there's three stars, and that's Orion's belt. So when you see it, it'll probably be more oriented like this. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, you'll see this about November to April, depending on, it can change a little bit depending on where you live. But if you look right here in the constellation with a telescope, even some binoculars, you can see a little bit of it. There is the Orion Nebula. So this actually does look closer to the picture than some of the other ones, I would say. Um, it looks like it's a little too dark in some of the spots. I need to like turn. Okay, so that's gonna be, 
So here is the picture we took in Space Engine versus the real one. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have more pictures that you would want to see looked for in Space Engine, I also want to try to get some mods to see if we can make some of the nebulae look more realistic. But thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.